I want to go through real quick, real quick here, self-organization. Um, I have spent a lot of time and really just in the last probably year, 18 months or so, really focusing on the impact of just what I get involved in. I mean, I've always been a, you know, limited uh, news or sports or, you know, on my phone. I don't Facebook a whole lot unless it's, you know, reaching out to all of you. Um, so I've, I've really been good about, about that sort of thing, having a clear mind, especially with the Brendan Burchard stuff, you know, his focus, one of the five pillars is psychology and his definition is the just free and clear, consciously directed, uh, mind. That's the goal. Um, and self-organization even now. So when I step back, I mean, the space I'm, I'm on, I'm on the third floor of my home. And it's a little bit too messy for me right now. It, it impacts my psychology when I don't have, when I'm not organized in my, in my space. I recently gave up my office, my real estate, my office at my real estate company. And so right now I basically come in uh, with, a, with my bag and a laptop and I'm able to hook into a TV and a printer if I need it. And that's how... That's how I am at work work now. So for me, simplifying and, and self-organizing -organ has been critical. So Emith has a an exercise that, that I went through. Um, and we never learn this stuff, right? I mean, I guess some people in some coaching groups, you know, learn about, you know, time management, but just organizing yourself. And this is one of those total common sense is not common practice type things. But sometimes when stuff is crazy, you could do it as an escape, which I don't recommend, but setting, setting out time, setting time aside to, to consciously kind of get yourself organized is, is really important. So your education probably never taught you how to effectively organize work. And this is partly why you become your technician. So in the world of e-myth, we're talking technician, manager, entrepreneur. And if you're constantly doing it as the technician, and you're not organizing your work, you're never going to elevate to the more important role, the most important role of entrepreneur, but also you have some manager duties, which you're not even getting to if you're constantly in a technician role. So overwhelm is not a fact of business. It's, I've, I've consciously and through a lot of work um, designed my life in a way where now I'm actually out of email. So we've got a system in my real estate company and the coaching company to make sure every request is handled, um, every question is answered, everything, nothing goes on, on, you know, unnoticed for even more than 24 hours. Even on the weekends, I have someone checking my email uh, now. So overwhelm does not have to be a fact of business. My goal in grow in tripling in size over the next three years, uh, next, uh, so by 2020, selling 1,200 homes in six, seven locations. I want to do it working less than I work now in my real estate company. And I'm only working about 45 days a year as it is now. So overwhelm is not a fact of business. It is an unhealthy way of relating to work that you have been taught is normal. So, so think of that. You, you all run your companies and you can make decisions on how you organize your day and how you organize your work. Uh, having a clear head is critical to free yourself to do high-level strategic work, the work of your manager and your entrepreneur. Self-organization is ongoing is an ongoing matur mat maturation process, not an attainment of perfection. Developing your inner manager through organization is key to being able to lead yourself and others. Multi multitasking is a myth, and it, it, you cannot multitask. Um, there's all these studies and even like simple, stupid little exercises that, that prove that multitasking is, is a complete myth that technicians cling to in order to feel productive without taking responsibility for getting important things done.